Welcome to Factorio Base of the Book. My name is Neil Laos and this is episode 8 of our Let's Play. We have uh, gotten oil and before we do want to uh, dive in, then uh, I just want to ask you for a bit of patience. I am uh, doing my very best to put out one video every single day and uh, there's a lot of work going into one of these as you can probably imagine. So there's been uh, holidays, uh, national holidays, there's been my birthday, there's been a lot of things going on. So uh, I didn't have time to update the blueprints for our last episode. I hope you can can just bear with me just a bit. Uh, I've been hounded over the last 24 hours about the lack of updates. I mean, I'm, I'm appreciating the fact that you are enjoying the blueprints, but uh, yeah, maybe just give me uh, give you just a, a, a moment to update it. I'll do my very best to keep it updated, but it will not be updated on a database. I might as well just say that. Don't expect it to be released exactly at the same time. I want to do that, but um, I'd rather get the video out or just skip a video if I can't get the blueprints out. I hope you can uh, can follow along with that, uh, that, that priority. So with that out of the way, um, I mean, it's super awesome that so many are actually watching out, actually looking for these blueprints because yeah, it's it's nice to know that the work you put in is actually being appreciated. So we did our oil here. We got it back in, got here, got like all of this processing really nicely done. And I understand that you want to get the blueprint. This is a nice, very nice blueprint. It's very easy to, to use. So let's uh, get that one as well. Yeah, it goes out and that means we actually have, oh, I should have brought these further up, right? Uh, okay, well, I can, I'll have to do that then. Dirt. And that one. Right, so what are we going to do today? We are going to make use of the plastic to make red circuits, use the red circuits and the sulfur to make uh, blue signs, make the blue signs. Uh, the one thing that you want the blue signs is, is actually just for, well, blue signs, so we can unlock some new tech, but also it enables us to make a robot rush, simply rush towards robots as soon as we have the blue signs. And that's what we want to do because uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that some of you are wondering exactly when I do like this, they're going like, why is he still using yellow belts? And the thing is, I'm using yellow belts because we have so little production in this base. It, it's not really a problem. I could have scaled it up, but in the interest of, um, of just showing you how I feel the ideal way of playing, I don't want to scale to build this just yet because then I spent a lot of my time doing this. There's some things that I have to do, like city blocks. Uh, they uh, they need to be set up. But um, many more smelting columns. I could, of course, do that off camera. But I also want to show to you the way that I prefer to do that. The I'll, I'll do manual work for aesthetics, but I won't do manual work for efficiency. That's kind of weird. But that means if you, for example, all of this path here, you really don't need it. But you, uh, but I want to do that so I can show you sort of the outline of the base as we uh, as we work. All right, this one should be almost there. Yep, almost there. Isn't it? Uh, there, so sulfur. Well, we're gonna get it further up anyway. But I need the plastic at this point. So we are going to. Oh. All oh, right, never mind. We got a bit. We got a bit ahead of ourselves. That's that's what happens. So what we want to make is the red circuits. Red circuits is like everything else coming from my masterclass, and it is actually it's actually this one. This is interesting because you can see the how it scales this one, and then it gets longer as we put the tier one modules in, and then it gets even longer when we get blue belts. So we're going to start with this one. <clears throat> and if I recall correctly, then the answer is one away from the bottom there, because then I can make it like this. And that will also be one away. Yeah. Then I can take this design and do exactly the same here. See, right there and right. Come on there right so that's gonna be well that's not gonna be how we want to make it but it will give us the sense of scale for what I want to make and I will just take all of this out again but I want to show it to you just to indicate what it is and that means we'll build the first one now 
I'm actually going to build it not with red belts, but with the uh, yellow belts. I think everything here will work with yellow belts. Uh, there might be, there's definitely one thing that doesn't work with yellow belts. And that comes in uh, this one. But that's okay. So this is one of my favorite favorite designs in terms of sort of merging things in. They merge in from two sides. One goes out here. This, this is now a mixed belt. And this one is also a mixed belt. Here, the reason why all we have all this space is, well, obviously, because we want if we want room for uh, room for beacons eventually later on, but that's uh, that's a bit out of the way right at this point. But it's still worth doing. And so here, copper as well. I also like the one that, the way the copper comes in. It gets split here, and then it only goes in on one side. The outer oops. The outer side here, or the inner side, which means. I can use the belt for both copper and for the copper wire on the outside. So let's get hooked up, hooking up some power. That's always nice. It's easier to put the power in because you can just drag it over here without fear of if issues there. And then we can drag the assemblers in between. Well. And let, let's get the lights. That's definitely not light. And you can actually see that the way I've, I've designed the copper input, I'm really happy about this. Is this is actually it's not the most super advanced build, but it is. I really love this way of doing it because it just uses all the space we have available here for as reasonable things as possible here. And we don't have the outer one, the one with the copper wire. And the fact that this is complete upgradable until we have blue belts is also pretty damn neat. All right, I think I'm gonna hook things up because I am going to keep it here. Also, we can see how little is being produced. It's about three per minute. Nope, three per second. Ah, we're not playing satisfactory here, are we? We don't deal with things in, in per minutes. And that's gonna be green circuits inbound they will be easy to get and the copper will be here i th think there might be some issues with uh oh whoa okay well let's get some more let's get some more of that and car is a good place to do that cutting across ah <laughs> and here Anything else we need? Nah, just primarily this. I think that's, uh, we'll take a few of these just so that we have all the things. Oh, I've actually run out of radars. This must be the expansion's fault. Blame the expansion. There, 200, that's a kind of a lot, but you also kind of need a lot. What about the red ones? Yeah, 38, that's probably fine. Probably fine. And going over for the red circuits and continue on this there. I think I'm going to leave the car. This is going to be here. And that one, that one, that one. And the beautiful white plastic. We're ready to throw in the water if needed. It really should be possible to make plastic landfill. That would be so appropriate to the whole idea of Factorio. Just, yeah, just fill the lake, the water with with plastic. That would be uh, uh, not appropriate, I guess, would, is the right word. So, yep, it works. And the other way. And there, so you can see here, this one filters <clears throat> so that on this side, I only have uh, one part. So here, P 
paint by numbers. I really like this design. I'm sorry to keep saying it, but it's there's just something about how simple it actually is. And then when you start looking at the details, there are there are a few quirks to it that makes it kind of kind of cool. Of course, it's not exactly sort of um, speedrunner friendly in terms of how how the clicks are located, as you can see here. How. Uh, But that doesn't matter. We are not speedrunning. And I'm probably going to miss one here and there. There. We have now officially read inserters. Woohoo. <clears throat> and I think I'm going to take one like this. And actually not. It's going to be from here. And I'm going to do that one. I'm going to do this one and then put it into a box like so there so we can now get that if we want to but i'm only maximum taking half of it out great so that is uh i'm just gonna send you off in the direction i think we're gonna use you red circuits are built that was a massive step forward here it will actually need to go this way as well that's one of the more important places that we need it because this is where we need. And uh, let's see, how do I want to do that? I think I might want to do it like this. Yeah, looks kind of interesting. Yeah. And the final one. So these are the three entrances to the hub, which will all need some uh, just a tiny bit of red circuits going in. Uh, I haven't set up anything that requires red circuits yet, but we will need to upgrade that as well. So again, this one will now go up. This is going to be used for... Oh, hello, train. Oh, car. That was... See? Even when I'm not driving the car, it just still bumps into things. So it's clearly not my fault. It's the car's fault. There. Oh, God damn it. Why? Why did I do that? All right, let me fix that. Ugh. Now the red one is back on track and we can now see we have red, we have sulfur and we have steel and we have iron. That is what we need in order to make the blue signs, which blue signs will come here because it's fitting nicely and then it can go just in here on this belt there. So that is where we want the blue and you guessed it, I am going to use my masterclass again, because it's freaking awesome. Sorry to say that. I think it's just really good at doing exactly what we want here. And this is now the blue science build. It makes, how much is it? It makes 1.5 per second. So it's not much, like 90 per minute. But it actually, uh, it, it does a lot of really good things. Here, here. Well... So it makes the engines, some people would put engines on the bus because they're also going to be used for uh, for the electric engines, for the robot frames, but I certainly would not. They are going to be used here for exactly the build, the size that they're, they're being used for. And so all of the ones I'm building here will be used. These will not go into making trains or locomotives or anything like that or tanks or more additional cars, or all of that. We have a single one doing that because in the hub because that's the quantity we need. We just don't need that. It's gonna be idle most of the time and then we'll just build up a stockpile so that we can grab what we want. And that was something I did not expect to miss. Hmm. Here, and what else, some iron. I'm just gonna handcraft the lights. Ah, uh, actually, something else I want to... No, I don't want to handcraft those. Oh, copper wire. Of course. All right, so we got a lot of that. Got it. Can we just keep up with the build here? Yeah, almost. Doesn't matter. We'll, uh, we'll find something else to do in the meantime. There's tons of stuff to be built here. Come on. Okay, so this one is a mixed belt of copper. No, so 
Mix belt of. Ah, uh, yeah, mix belt. Let's make sure we get all of this in. I'm gonna run out of this for sure. Mix belt of sulfur and red. Okay, that's good because those are things we get over here. We're gonna get this one as well. And the stone bricks goes up for the purple science, and so does the stone. They go keep going up for that there. There. Plastic, don't really need that. And that's the sulfur. I can't imagine this actually needs to go any further. No, it's not. This one, though, it's going to be much further. So I will build it here. And there. That's the one. What else do we need? Nothing much. Nothing else from that side. So that's fine. So we've taken this one out. And here I'm going to get some iron inbound. That's just going to go in and being consumed. It's actually going to use quite a bit. And right here we definitely need a... One, two, yep. Uh, nope. That one. Which is also unfortunately the case for this one that it also needs it, weirdly enough. There, 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 there. It doesn't really matter, but it, it's... Now it's done. Cool. That means I can take from the outer one without repercussions because I'm already already balancing before. And we'll get the iron in, but the steel inbound. So as long as you keep balancing, and if you can balance every city block, I think that's nice to do. It, I mean, it might be a bit excessive, but it'll get there. So this one goes in. Let's do uh, this. The engines first, because that's kind of it's kind of a bit weird. And these ones, oh, we are going to need a lot more of this. I can't believe I'm just handcrafting instead of running back and forth. But you know, we can handcraft while uh, building. So let me just get a lot of this. Five, yeah, that's a lot. <clears throat> this one, oh, this is the output. Of course, it has to go under. And this one goes in. So that's the one belt. It's a combined steel and gear belt. Then we have the other belt. This is the... And I have to put it on both sides, the pipes, because I need each engine needs two pipes and one gear and one something else. And you can see here there's room for a beacon much later, but we'll keep that uh, keep it intact for the beacon. Interesting that it didn't put it in there itself. That, oops. Got it. And that's all the belts to take care of. Let's go the lights. And then input. Let's get all of them at once. And the other ones. Yep. So again, these designs, they are very meticulous about how and why and where you pick up things. And it just works. So that's it's pretty good. So what we're working on, we, we just want this. We just want the, the blue signs as soon as we have the blue signs it's just a lot of things just make it become a lot easier that one will never be like that here yeah and that one 
So let's get the red belts to see if we have enough red belts. First, we're going to take our engines from up here. They'll just be on one side. We don't really need a lot. Okay, I have 28 of these, so that's not a problem. And the last belt, this will be the, the belt that has prevented us from actually making this for a while. The sulfur and red circuits coming in. And then we start putting things in and we'll soon we'll be able to see we have the blue science. So what are the things that we want to research with blue science first? Well, let's get this one up and running and then I'll, I'll show you. We want to work directly towards robots. Absolutely, because while it's researching, we are going to build what I call the Robot Rush. It's a new design I built not so long ago. There's a little, blue, uh, a little masterclass for it and I might actually extend it to uh, be slightly different. And the idea is that it just basically, at, as soon as you have the blue signs, then instead of building a big, big, ba oh no, take that out. Okay, we can, we can do that. Yeah, there. All right, so that should be done. We'll have the blue signs coming out soon enough. Uh, yeah, so as soon as you have the blue signs unlocked, it's time for to start making more. Uh, I'm getting that one. It's time to start making batteries and after batteries, then what was the next thing after batteries you need? Um, oops, there's a problem here. That I'm going to fix, I'm going to fix, I'm going to fix, I'm going to fix, I'm going to fix there. Ooh. Okay, so batteries and sulfur and all of those things you need to make, but I don't really want to make those yet. Uh, I just want to make uh, robots quickly and also low density structures and uh, lubricant, all those things. So what we're doing is we are going to go here. First, we want advanced oil processing. Then we want to work towards lubricant so we can get the electric engines, so we can get robotics, so we can get the construction bots. That's what we want to aim for. And that's a strict fast, urgent way of doing it. I think that's the best way. It's the best way in my opinion, at least. So what we're going to do here is make, uh, it's not gonna be, oh, it is actually gonna be here. That's gonna be our robot rush. And that's, uh, I, I like it, it's, it's weird. I am not going to make it here. I'm going to make it up here because I think I have something else I want to build. This one, I think I want batteries down here. So this one here, and then I'll put the uh, blue circuits up here. So this one can be idle for a bit. And let's see. Again, we go here and we have a robot rush. And you can see most of the things that we have here. I don't actually have the opportunity to make it yet, but that's okay. You can see here what I want inbound. I am going to get this steel in here and then I just a combined iron copper belt. There, that's all we need. And it seems weird to start making things that we already have, but it's if you don't build a bus base, as I am doing here. Uh, oops, I forgot to build that one. Okay. Yeah, if you don't build a bus base, then it's you can you can build it like this in pretty simple manner that one no there so that's done and oh here and then i'm going to take the steel Oh, I need to do this. Go to the steel and what else do we, then we just need raw. Okay. I mean, in, in the base such as this, it might not make a lot of sense to do this because I already have the sulfur. I already have the sulfuric acid, but I want to show this in its I don't know, raw form. And here we also have liquids coming in. So water comes in. Which again is going to be a bit tricky here. Yeah. 
Uh, you know what? I think it's easier if I take the water and oil upwards instead. That's going to be... This one is water. This one is oil. There. There. And... Can I go there? Yes, I can. Electric engine is now done. And the, the time it takes to build this is also kind of the time it takes to do this here. And that's going to be the other one is right there. There. So now we have all of that inbound and I just realized that I'm missing something. I'm missing one of these steel and stone bricks. All right, all right, all right. I can take the stone, the steel here and I'll take a few stone here and then I'm just gonna make it. And I think I have a few of these left, yes. Okay, so that should be fine. I know <laughs> with a hub and I'm still handcrafting like crazy. It's just to, to save time on going back and forth. All right, so this one, Oh crap. And Robo Rush again. So this will also give us, you can see now the Robo Rush. We now have that one as well. All right, we're gonna start getting it. Water comes in, we're gonna follow the water. Oh, first, the power poles, yes. Now we're gonna follow the water. Where does the water go? It goes here and there. The water also goes in here. And then it goes to that one. Let's build the entities as well here. So we can trace things where they go. And the next one, oil goes, well, obviously only in here. And then the heavy oil. You can see there's a condition here that says only go into the cracking once it's more than 200. So this one has done a, a bit, goes in here, becomes lubricant. Let's follow the lubricant. It goes into this one. That one, that one, that one, that one. And there. So lubricant goes in here, that's good. Let's continue with the rest of it. The light oil goes in and combines with the stuff that gets cracked and then gets in here for further cracking into light oil or into petroleum, which will combine with the original petroleum and go in here to make sulfur, which is basically the only thing that I have to do here. That one. So I get sulfur and now we're making sulfur. So let's get all the belts done. Oops. There, that will be a a what is it called battery belt here we get that one this one will be steel on one side and then it will be uh that one here here and then we should be able to have this there we go They'll have green circuits on the outside belt. There. I want to get the engines rolling. Their engines are good. This goes up and goes into the final one. There. Let's see if things are working or what is not working. Well, this one's not working because we don't have construction don't we have this good copy paste we don't have construction drones but that's the ones we are building out so let's have a look at whether this is working we're getting a few batteries in yep we're not getting any of these in but they will go in so what is what is setting the speed of this well one of these is 10 seconds and these two are 20 seconds each so this is what sets the priority so it's going to be one robot every 10 seconds but it's not quite one every 10 seconds because we also have uh, the fact that the crafting speed is slower 
And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So this is just going to continue to make robots. How many robots do I want? Like that, 500 robots getting in there. The only thing we want on top of that is now making construction bots, which is what we need. So one of the cool things is look at that. While I'm researching, I can build all of this and it'll just start working. And as soon as this one is done, we will have a few of these available. So it'll, well, not even not even a lot. Like it's, it's only actually one. There we go. We got the construction bots and there we go so we have the very first robots how about that that's pretty quick we did robots let's build some of the things that we think is most important here uh, i would say robot speed they're always painfully slow so let's get a couple of robot speeds in here and what else would be really nice to have logistics robots yeah that's also nice then not that we really want that yet at this point and then from there on, we can figure out what else we want to have. But there are a few things more that we want to do. So look at that. Three robots. Yes. That is amazing. That is not quite there yet. Not quite there. So what I want to do instead is go to my hub and extend my hub. There will be some things now that can use that have been waiting for us to actually get some red circuits in. Now that we have the red circuits, we can start consuming it. And that means you could make the nuclear power, but if you haven't researched the nuclear power, you could make over on this side. I think that's the one. Well, that is the one. So I'm going to go into my hub uh, here. I'm going to find hub number two. And it is, okay, already number two. So this one is... You could say, unfortunately, boom, using uh, red, red belts, not a problem. We just do this and we just fill it in with the yellow belts. There's nothing here. I think that requires a better belt. Nope. And the reason we do this is, well, twofold, threefold, maybe. And I'm also going to work towards getting that one there. And let me get some. Some modules. Modules are nice to have, but you know, really, we are not in a position to actually use modules because they're kind of harsh on our power. And they also steal away all of my beautiful, precious red circuits. So I don't want to do that yet. That one stops and we're going to continue down here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. See, that's really weird. Okay, so if, oh, now I learned something. If you have a red one and you set a yellow one, then it should put both of them in. Yeah, it put both of them. But if I have a yellow one and I put it in, then it only puts in one. That is so weird. So if you're... Yeah, so that's the robot. That's the one we really want. And uh, let's go... Oh, uh, let's go get some of these and some of these and probably also here and then up here for that one great i'm also going to use the comb thing just to clean up this mess as you can see here and then that's fine here here yeah, so they are now available. Oh, never mind. I don't need to make those. What could we want? Lasers, maybe? Ah, faster research is always nice. Fast, more faster, more faster research. That is going to be broken. Yeah, this is kind of useless to make uh, into that one. This is going to be the last tier, tier of assemblers that we don't have. But hey. We got this level, so let's uh, fire it up. This is the most important one, so let's get that one up and running. This one up here will be substations, and there's actually a point to not researching substations because this one will steal the red circuits for substations that we really have no need for at this point. There, and that's going to be our modules. That is everything we need. Now we get the logistics. So this has now been updated. We are now getting a few robot ports. Obviously we are. Hmm. That one, that one, that one. Uh, what else can we get? Let's get a few of these robot ports. Look at that. We got three robot ports. It's not a lot, but it's something. That one inbound here. 
inbound. Just desperately trying to get rid of stuff in our inventory so we can move faster. That one definitely goes in here. Yeah, so that's uh, how many rubber ports. Let's get that here. We have rubber ports. Awesome. But that is the, that's going to be where we end today. Well, I am going to just put the robots into the robot port, but that's it. No more than that, because uh, then next time, that's when the robot abuse really starts. And that means we're going to get a lot of robots and we're going to start making a lot of upgrades. We can place solar panels. We are going to uh, not do the upgrade yet because yellow belts are just fine as it is right now. We don't really have the supply to produce faster than this. So let's just do this. I am going to do one thing and that will be actually I'll replace this with this one. And I am going to, oh, I forgot. I'm going to do this. Then here I can say read logistics statistics. So that is the total construction, but T. So I'm going to say it. You just keep inserting here until T is, or as long as T is less than 500. That means I now put up to 500 in here. There we go. I put some repair packs. I put some construction bots. We have 23 robot. Ah, oh, it's actually working. Look at my little robot. Look at it. And of course, the first thing the robot does is start fixing uh, my uh, my bad driving. That's that's kind of obvious. Thank you very much for watching. It is super awesome. We now have robots and everything will just gradually become easier. I'll try to get my uh, the blueprints up and running as fast as possible so you can get them and enjoy them. And then uh, we can continue next week with more and sort of unlocking the mid game now that we have blue science and robots. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.